Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com and RockAuto.com. Well, hello and welcome to Motor Week 88. We're glad to have you with us. You might remember that two years back, we tested the Oldsmobile Calais. It was a good effort, but not quite up to the sophistication of some of its Japanese rivals. Well, ironically, the Calais is among the first of the GM N bodies to receive the newest bit of GM technology, a double overhead cam, 16-valve engine, the same kind of advanced engine that powers some of the Japanese cars. So we figure it's time to take a second look at the Calais. Our look comes in the form of Oldsmobile's Cutlass Calais International. This new variation of last year's Calais GT is specifically designed with a performance-oriented driver in mind. To that end, it gets a modified nose and deep chin spoiler, which gives a surprisingly aggressive appearance. The aggressive theme continues with ground-hugging side skirts. Unlike many manufacturers' add-ons, they give this car a more balanced look. A handsome two-tone paint scheme is also standard throughout the International Series. The I-Series package is completed by 14-inch alloy wheels wearing fat Goodyear Eagle GT Plus 4 tires. Overall, it's probably the best-looking Oldsmobile that we've seen in some time, and we wonder why the company didn't promote something like this sooner. Maybe because it was waiting for a suitable engine. Well, it's arrived. Oldsmobile's new 16-valve Quad 4. This 2.3-liter four-cylinder produces 150 horsepower and 160 pound-feet of torque, easily beating the smaller 16-valve fours of the Japanese competition. A new direct-fire ignition system eliminates spark plug wires and timing adjustments. Even the fluid reservoirs are well-marked, something the Japanese don't always seem to think is important. But the proof is in the driving, and our Calais International drives like no Calais before it. Zero to 60 took a short 8.4 seconds, and the quarter mile flashed by in 16.6 seconds at 83 miles per hour. Much credit must go to the International Series' excellent Getrag-designed manual transmission. It allows the driver to use every bit of the quad force power. But it sometimes seems like there's too much power for the Calais front drive design. There's a lot of front-end shutter as the tires claw for traction, and the steering wheel tries to pull from your grip. There's also a lot of engine noise when the Quad 4 is working hard. Once up to speed, the Calais International proves itself to be quite capable. With its FE3 suspension, the car tracks smoothly through corners, exhibiting only mild front-end plow. But body roll here is more than we expect in high-performance cars. Our biggest complaint is with the steering. It's precise but lacks feel. It isolates you from the benefits of the stiffer suspension. So in emergency maneuvers, you feel a little bit out of touch with the road. It stops with more inspiration. The front disc rear drum combination brings the Calais down from 55 with a reasonable average of 120 feet. The brakes do want to lock a bit, but good pedal feel makes that easy to control. Stability is excellent, but there is a lot of fade as the brakes heat up. The Quad 4's performance isn't the only thing likely to lure buyers to this new Olds. It also boasts an above average level of standard features, including a tilt wheel and intermittent wipers. That's a nice departure from the usual pay for every feature approach of U.S. car companies. The dash is basic GM. It's clean and uncluttered and easier to understand than some current Japanese designs. The standard rally instrument package is very comprehensive. It would be nice to see this become standard in all GM cars. The gauges are large and easy to read both day and night. The front bucket seats are comfortable and offer good lower back support. And happily, Olds has added enough side bolstering to keep you in place during hard cornering. That's often missing in upgunned American cars. We highly recommend the optional power seat for best driving position. And passive seat belts are standard. Also standard is air conditioning, and it has simple, easy-to-use controls. The cassette stereo also works well, although some complained it was too low in the dash for easy access. The trip computer is a new design and has a rather unique feature. Besides the usual range and fuel economy modes, it monitors engine oil life and reminds the driver when an oil change is due. 
As in many coupes, rear seat access is not the best. Elbow and shoulder room are fine, but leg room is lacking. There are also no rear shoulder belts. A split folding rear seat helps to make up for some of the space problems, and once again, it's standard on the I-Series. Not that there's any lack of trunk space. The Calais International has space for a full set of luggage and more. But the high liftover makes loading heavy bags difficult. The EPA rates the Calais International's five-speed mileage at 26 city, 36 highway. With an automatic, it's only 8% less. But our mixed driving loop returned a disappointing 23 miles per gallon. Despite the performance suspension, highway ride is still good. Interior sound measures a reasonable 68 decibels. As for price, our Calais International starts at $13,695 and comes to $15,000 with options. That's not bad. For the record, the Quad 4 is available in all Calais models as well as in the Buick Skylark and Pontiac Grand Am. As for the Olds Calais I-Series competition, the Toyota Celica GTS is more expensive and has less interior room. Its smaller 16-valve engine does provide similar acceleration. The Mercury Topaz XR5 costs less, but lacks the Calais International 16-valve power and its wealth of standard features. In our safety check, the Calais International passes with 5-mile-per-hour bumpers, radial tires, and front passive restraints. It lacks rear shoulder belts and anti-lock brakes. Our list of hits starts with the Calais International's long list of standard equipment. We also like the power from the 16-valve quad-4 engine, the superb manual transmission, and the smart exterior styling. Misses include the numb, overboosted power steering, engine noise, disappointing fuel economy, and nasty front-end torque steer and front-end shake in hard acceleration. So the Olds Cutlass Calais International isn't perfect, but it's one of the best efforts from the General Motors stable in years. The Calais I-Series logo doesn't include a Japanese flag. Even so, this Olds shows that successful Japanese marketing techniques haven't been ignored in Detroit after all.